Hello, everybody, and welcome to Coffee and Conversations with AMR Elite Realtors with Taylor Properties. And today we have a special guest, Mr. Joe Sachs with Cross Country Mortgage. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. So we thank you so much for joining us today, Joe. And we know we want to get right into the meat and potatoes of the mortgage industry. So can we just talk about the current interest rates? Where of are course. they? What's of happening course. right now? Well, as everybody knows, the uh, the interest rates have definitely been on the rise lately. We've got a lot of things going on in the marketplace. Inflation's at a, about a 40-year high. And one of the things that, that happens when you have inflation is rates tend to rise. you got the Federal Reserve raising the overnight lending rates and things like that. So unfortunately, the rates have been going up, uh, but it's uh, something, you know, over the past 50 years, I think the average interest rate is about 8%. And mm -hmm. I think people would find that hard to believe because over the past 15, 20 or 25 years, rates have not been anywhere close to that. Um, even as shortly back as March or so of this year, rates were down in the upper twos and the threes. Um, right now, they're kind of in the low to mid seven range, which is definitely a lot higher than what they've been. And rates are something that are really specific to the program that we're talking about. As you guys both know, there's a lot of different lending programs. You've got conventional mortgages through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, which is your traditional 30 year fixed plain vanilla type rates. You've got your FHA rates as well. FHA is a, is a program that's government sponsored that's often used for first time home buyers where you don't need as much money down on a house. So we use that quite a bit with first time home buyers. You've got VA loans. If somebody's a veteran of the military, um, you know, one of the ways we like to thank our veterans is uh, some, some specific opportunities that they can use, including a VA loan, which requires no money down, which you guys are certainly aware of. We've even got USDA loans, which are for more rural areas. So the point is, depending on the program that's specific to each individual buyer, you know, the rates going to be potentially a little bit different may be affected by their credit score, the amount of money they're putting down, the, the size of the loan and that type of thing. But general answer is the rates are definitely higher now um, than they were, you know, even six or seven or eight months ago. So, you know, that's kind of where we are right now. They're higher, but it's always a great time to buy. Yeah, that's right. It certainly is. And so even with that said, I don't want our first time home buyers or even anyone that's ready to do a new purchase to get discouraged because here's the thing, the rent prices are going up every year. And mm -hmm. so when you lock yourself into a fixed rate mortgage, then you have that stability to know. I mean, most people's salaries are not going up every year, even though your rent is going up every year, you know? Right. So those are some things to think about. And even though the interest rates may be in that range now, like Joe said, that doesn't mean that the interest rates they may change in a few years or so, or even sooner than that. And you can always do a refinance down the line. So don't get discouraged. It is still a great time to purchase a home. Okay? I agree a hundred percent. I agree a hundred percent with that. <laughs> exactly. Because there's been times many years ago where the interest rate was 16 and 17% and houses still sold. That's right. So, you know, now we're looking at it being six and seven percent. We're like, oh, my God, because everybody got so comfortable with this two and three no. percent. But we all had to know that it wasn't going to stay there, that it was going to change at some point. So but that doesn't mean that you can't get an affordable mortgage, because now a lot of lenders like Joe, they are creating different loan packages that will allow someone to purchase with less money down. That's mm -hmm. right. That's exactly yeah. right. And we were even talking before uh, the recording here that whatever the rate is, if somebody gets that fixed rate and 99 out of 100 times we're doing a 30 year fixed mortgage for somebody, they know what that payment is going to look like. It's not going to change. Yeah. When you're talking about rent, rent tends to go up every single year. You have no control over that. The only person controlling that is, is the person that owns the home. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just it, in, in my opinion, I think in the opinion of all of us here, it still makes a lot more sense to buy, to get some kind of a fixed rate, knowing that worst case, it stays the way it is. Best case, which is more probable, you're going to be able to refinance that at some point and get a lower payment. So, yeah. you know, we've done a ton of refinances for people over the year, over the years rather. And it's, um, you know, it's, it's something that for most people buying now would be, you know, that's something they'd be able to take advantage of somewhere down the line. 
So Yeah, absolutely. And I know as realtors, we've seen that with that interest rate going up, it's kind of stabilizing the market a little better for the buyers because with that lower interest rate, we were seeing people doing, you know, like crazy amounts over the asking price and a lot of multiple offers and things like that. And so now that it is a little bit getting a little bit more stabilized, what are some of the challenges that the mortgage industry is facing? Well, one of the challenges is that if somebody came to me, for example, six or seven months ago to get pre-qualified, and we'll talk about that pre-qualification process here in a minute, but they had more buying power then than they might have right now because you know the rates being higher means that that same income that they have may not buy, be able to buy that same level of house that they could have bought six or seven months ago. Mm. Um, so that can be a little bit frustrating for people. Um, so that's kind of the reality of it. That's one of the biggest challenges I see that we face with these higher rates right now. Um, but I always like to look at the glass half full, not half empty. And as you kind of alluded to, you've now got potentially less buyers out there for a new buyer to compete against because some people are just getting kind of scared by the rates and everything they see on the news or hear on the radio. So some people are going to back away. You know, we had three, four or five months ago, we had several months where we had a seller's market. And what that means for people is it's all about <laughs> supply and demand. There was a lot more were a lot more people trying to buy homes at that time than there were houses available to be sold to people. So as uh, Juanita said a minute ago, you had a lot of buyers, multiple buyers trying to put an offer on the same property, which all that did was drive the price up and made it very confusing and difficult <coughs> and frustrating for people. You know, a lot of first time home buyers out there saying, you know, I've put offers on five, six, seven houses. Somebody always comes in higher than me. I'm, I'm getting kind of tired of it. Well, right now with the rates being higher, you've got less competition when you're trying to buy and the chances are you go to put an offer in with somebody and you're going to get a really good, uh, or you have a really good chance of that being accepted by the seller because they don't have multiple offers on that house right now. Mm -hmm. So again, try to look at the good with the bad and, and try to, you know, we can't change the rates right now. I can't control them. Nobody here can control them. We just do the best with what we have. But That's you always, right. if you look at the best, the bright side of things, you'll find a way to make it happen. Exactly. And the beat goes on, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> yep. So that term that a lot of people are saying, I'm just going to wait for the interest rates to change and I'm going to wait. The time is still now to buy because I don't know about you, but we don't know when the interest rate is going to change or what are we waiting for? How long are we waiting? Right. So, you know, if you're in the position to buy, I think the best thing to do is to move forward. And um, and let's make it happen. Right. One of the other things that we, we can touch on here is when somebody does buy a house versus renting, as you guys know, they get equity in the property, meaning what equity means is whatever amount of money you put down or what percentage you put down is instant equity in the house. Mm -hmm. And we can't guarantee this, but with a very high level of certainty, that value of that house is going to go up and up and up over time. So you're going to the difference between what you paid and what that house is now worth in the future is what we call equity. And that equity is a beautiful thing. That's money you can put in your pocket by refinancing. If you go to sell the house or whatever the case might be, mm -hmm. when you rent, there's no such thing as equity. You're just paying the rent to the landlord. You get a receipt at the end of the month and you mm -hmm. go on about your business and you cross your fingers that they're not going to raise the rate or the rent on you next time around. So, you know, there's just so many good reasons to still get out and buy. It's still a great time. Um, and I think somebody that takes advantage of a purchasing decision right now is going to be, all the better in a good position down the road. Yep. Yeah. That's true. That is so true. So, Joe, for my first time home buyers, tell me what are some of the main documents that a prospective buyer might need to have handy in order to get improved, you know, pre-approved for a mortgage. Okay. So the pre-approval process is very important, as you both know. Um, nobody wants to be out there as a buyer or a potential buyer without being pre-approved because that's like just not knowing what you can afford. Everybody, depending on their income level and the debts that they have and things like that, has a certain level at which they can purchase a house. Everybody's different. We look at everybody individually. So what's very important is for any prospective buyer to, to meet with somebody like myself in the mortgage business and to start what we call the pre-approval process. And with that, we just gather up a handful of documents such as the driver's license, um, 30 days pay stubs, most recent two months bank statements, W-2s or 1099s, depending on what kind of income they have, and tax returns, if and only if somebody is either self-employed or if they currently own rental properties. So if somebody is just doing this for the first time and they don't have any other properties or rental properties and they're not self-employed, 
we don't need to look at tax returns. So it's a pretty simple process. It's just a matter of reaching out to me. I can send a link to the prospective buyer after I discuss everything with them. They go online in about a 10 or 15 minute process, get the pre-approval process started. They upload the documents and then I start running the reports and things and figure out for them based on their credit scores, their income, the debts that they currently have and some other factors that go into it, what they may be able to be pre-approved for. And the nice thing is at that point, we put together a real nice pre-approval letter that would go to the prospective buyer, to you, all the agents. And then when they go with you to, to look at a particular house, they've already been pre-approved for X amount of money. And the seller and the seller's agent know that they've got somebody that's actually talked to a lender and been pre-approved rather than somebody that's out just kicking the tires without having any idea how much they can afford as far as the house goes. So, you know, it's a pretty, pretty quick, pretty simple process. It's an important part of the process that you all are aware of. And, uh, you know, it, I'm more than happy to talk to anybody that would like to go through that, you know, to see, uh, see what kind of buying power they might have. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And so they don't have to have everything right at that moment. However, they can start the online process with you and then upload the documents at a later time. But the pre-approval won't come until that you actually receive all of the documents that you need to actually know what they have pre-approved. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So if, if somebody, if somebody reaches out to me and they, I don't want anybody to be afraid to start the process because maybe they can't get a hold of last year's W2 or whatever that was, or whatever that might be. That's fine. We can, we can start with whatever they have upload it into the system. And then once I do have everything, I run something called a findings report through my computer system. And whether we're going with a conventional loan or an FHA loan or a VA loan or USDA or any other type of loan, we'll have this report to let us know that based on their credentials, they are pre-approved to X amount of money. And that's the starting point for me and my process or our underwriter internally to really get that process started once we have a, a contract and a viable situation to buy a house. So, you know, it's, it's not a daunting thing. You know, we've worked with I personally, as you all have, have worked with a lot of first-time home buyers. I get a lot of uh, happiness out of working with them because and satisfaction because they're a little bit scared sometimes. They don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And I love taking the extra time with them to explain how everything works. It's a process from A to Z. It's a little bit more complicated than going to the store and just buying a shirt or buying a pair of shoes. Obviously, it's a big purchase. But we want to make that as comfortable for somebody as possible. And, yes. you know, over the years, I've worked with a ton of first time home buyers and, and get a lot of satisfaction out of helping them get there for the first time. So. OK. And my last question for you is give us some major advantages pertaining to renting versus buying. And is it a great time to get a mortgage or should a person wait to, like you said, till the rates get lower or. Right. Yeah, I, we, we've touched on this a little bit, I think. There's no time like the present. I mean, I think if somebody, nobody knows what tomorrow's rates are going to be, you know, could they continue to go up? Absolutely. Or they, can they go down? They can as well. But if you lock something in now, even though the rates aren't what they were six or seven months ago, as we said earlier, you can always refinance down the road. You know, you're still going to have that equity that we talked about. You know, if you're putting 5% down or three and a half percent down or whatever it is, you've got equity right off the bat. And one would expect, based on history, especially in this area in which we live around the D.C. metropolitan area, that the values of homes are just going to go up and up and up over time. It's just the way it's been for many, many, many years. It's a very transient area around here. We've got a lot of government employees and government contractors. So unlike some of the other cities around the country, if there are downturns in the market, we're pretty much the last market to see that downturn because there's so much buying and selling going on around here and so much government related work around here that they're really it's about as a recession proof area as there is in the country. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that's really not even a dollars and cents thing. It's really the pride of ownership. You know, any of us here that own a home, you know, if you're out working in the yard or fixing something up around the house or just walking by and looking at the outside of your house, there's that pride and ownership that you don't get when you rent. I know for myself, you know, I love my house. I take a look at it. I take care of the yard and everything. And I just, I have that pride. I love my neighbors. I've gotten to be good friends with everybody. It's it's something special about owning your own home. It's kind of that American dream that people talk about. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's just a, a wonderful opportunity, whether the rates are where they are now or where they might go in the future. I think right now is a, is a great time to buy. As we said earlier, a lot less competition because you got people that are scared because of the rates. 
So if you go out and you find a house you like and you we run the numbers for you and you, you can afford it, you want to make that offer, you're going to have a lot better chance of getting that house and getting that equity and getting that pride of ownership that we talked about because you have a lot less competition there. So I think it's still a great time to buy right now. I think it is too. And we are excited for all of the people that are throwing their hat in the ring that are still happy to purchase. And even those that are happy to sell, you know, we have a lot of people that are downsizing. They're moving out of town. Um, the kids are gone away to college and they don't need as much room as they did once before. Mm -hmm. um, so we we are at AMR Elite Realtors with Teller Properties. We're here to service you. We have Mashana here. She also is licensed in North Carolina. So I, hey, you, you have everyone here, one-stop shop. And you have Joe here with these great, all every kind of one-stop shop mortgages for you. So we definitely are, you know, we want to make sure we reach out to everybody and let them know that we are here to serve the public. No, I agree with you. I can just say here that AMR is a first class group of realtors. Everybody's very professional. And I think everyone here really looks at each of their clients with a mutual respect kind of a, a viewpoint. And mm -hmm. of course, you know, this is what we do for a living. We want to help everybody, but we do what's right by people and everybody on this call and everybody in your office. I really get that sincere feel that, that or look everybody there is looking out for their clients best interest and that goes a long way that's uh, that's why i love working with you all and uh, i appreciate the opportunity and we love working with you too joe too, Joe. we appreciate that we definitely do treat our family uh treat our clients just like family so uh, we appreciate that and we thank you so much for coming today to drop those great nuggets and inform our buyers that are considering, make sure you reach out to us. We're going to have all of Joe's information with the video at the top when it airs. So you will know how to get in touch with him directly. If you have any questions, you can post it in the comments. We'll make sure that he gets those questions for you. So you all can connect with him to start making your move happen. And so Juanita, what are we? We are reliable realtors providing exceptional service no need to go far come on down to a m r we love you guys and thanks for watching us thank you very much good night everybody all right bye-bye